Hi everybody and welcome to another Dragon Ball Z abridged reaction. Before we begin as always thank you to the patrons on Patreon. If you want to join us on Patreon the link is in the description. Go check it out for early access to our footage and exclusive content like filler episodes and movies that are only on Patreon. If you're watching this on YouTube please subscribe to this channel. Also subscribe to the ton of other channels that we have which are all within the link in the description. Last but not least check out our merchandise which is also within the link in the description. Like this video, comment down below. And with all that being said let's get started with this reaction. Well, Goku was passed, but his sacrifice has stopped a great evil. Thanks to him, our lives can return to peace once more. Raditz. Raditz. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the scouter. Incoming call. As strong as the Cyberman says what? That usually gets to him. I think he's dead, Vegeta. <laughs> Big shocker, nobody cares. We're ten times stronger than him anyway. We'll go to Earth, find the Dragon Balls, and kill everyone. And we'll be there within a year or so. <laughs> Basically. Depending on filler, of course. <laughs> Depending <laughs> on the filler. <laughs> nope. That's about it. Well. Fuck. <laughs> chala. Head chala. Man, this is so funny. In the actual Dragon Ball Z, none of that happens. They don't even know that Vegeta and Raditz are talking or hearing the things that are coming from Raditz's scouter. You're right. Somebody discloses that later on to the Z Fighters. I forget how that happens. Right, it has to be Vegeta. Maybe Frieza. I saw You're right. I think it was Vegeta. Back there. That kind of power can be useful. I'm going to make you my pupil. But where's my daddy? Hate to tell you, kid, but your dad's dead. Haha, <laughs> your dad's dead. And I killed him. <laughs> oh, well, look, they have a like, check station. And so we need Goku here to get to King Guys for his masterful training, Lord Yama. Oh. The way they made him sound so old, um, Kami. Sir? Oh, what? Yeah. Oh, uh, sure, whatever. He can go to King Kai's, but he'll have to run on sir. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, wow. You actually predicted Sounds the boom, fun. boom, boom. Prepare to be surprised. All right, I'm off. Oh, wait. By the way, did you see a guy named Raditz come through here? He has spiky hair and a tail. Oh, yeah, I remember that guy. Straight to hell. I put him in my patented Yamalock. And it worked? No, he kicked me in the balls and ran away. <laughs> no, I don't know where he is. He didn't keep his eye on the birdie. Huh. What the heck? Okay. Well, bye. See you next time you die. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. How many more times? <laughs> Mahogany. Kicking Yama in the really? balls? How did Chi Chi take the news? Yama's balls oh. are probably big as Raditz. Well, yeah. really? What did you want <laughs> to talk about? So, Chi Chi, hypothetically. What would you do if you were told that your husband was dead and your son were kidnapped by his worst enemy? I'd castrate the messenger in his sleep with a rusty carving knife. <laughs> <laughs> I love this. It's a good thing I'm not telling you that. <laughs> <laughs> would you like to spend the night? Uh, against Why? my better judgment. <laughs> Chi-Chi's character is on point. <laughs> <laughs> you heard the knife coming out? Oh my god. Or is she sharpening it? Yes, this is a horror film. Relatively well. So, are you going to gather the other Z Warriors and go train with Kami? The who warriors? The Z Warriors. You, Goku, Tien. <gasps> For <Yamcha> real. <laughs> That's what we always call you guys. She stole that off of Raditz's body. Krillin! Where the hell are you? Oh man. Well, I'm up to gather the Z Warriors. Hope she brought her knife. <laughs> <laughs> Listen up, runt. Today we're going to commence your intense training under me. But wait, wouldn't that cause horrible muscle degeneration for somebody my age? <laughs> <laughs> years to come? So true. You're a wordy little bastard, aren't you? My mom wants me to become an orthodox. Nerd! <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I think Nerd! You reach your hidden potential, I'd have to put you in immense physical danger. So I'm going to throw you at that mountain. And then off of Actually, that mountain. That looks more like a put <laughs> <laughs> it's funny because it's so abrupt. Now. Here it comes. And, and nothing. <laughs> this is oh. going to be a long training session. This part of Dragon Ball Z made oh, me so, feel so bad. Snake way. Now you might want to pack a lunch because it's going to be a long run. <laughs> now nah, I'm just joking. You're not going to be eating none. 
Wow, that looks like it's gonna take me a while. Now be careful running, you don't wanna fall off and die. That's just a little bit of dead humor. But seriously, do not fall off or you will go to hell. <laughs> Has anyone ever run the whole thing before? Well, there was one man. Well, who was he? I believe his name was... Mr. Bobo! Yes, call me. I just received word that we have a new batch of trainees coming. Make sure you take good care of them. My goodness, Kami. <laughs> His voice actor is kind of accurate to the original Kami. <laughs> Popo's a freaking creep. Oh, take care of them? Yeah. I just got it right now. Man... This show is actually confusing me on how Dragon Ball Z actually went. Any mahogany, but mahogany from the planet of Malkior 7, where the trees are 300 feet tall and breathe fire. Who's he talking about? From these trees, Comment below. This desk was forged 2,000 years ago using ancient blood rituals of the Malkior people. <laughs> Not only does this make my desk nigh indestructible, but it can bend the fabric of the universe itself. Goku's also, gonna be like, it's cool! very fine material. Very expensive. Okay. Mahogany. Anyway, like I was saying before, I'm starting to forget how the actual story went down because those first few episodes of Dragon Ball Z, I really did not watch until this reaction channel. Everything before episode 95, I would totally skip over. I thought those episodes sucked for some reason. I was totally a fool in thinking that. But again, because of this reaction channel, I got to watch those basically for the first time. I had seen little snippets of them here and there. And obviously while playing like the Budokai games or the Tenkaichi games and walking through the storyline, I kind of knew what was going to happen, but I truly hadn't sat down and watched those episodes so going back to the original point that dragon ball z bridge is kind of confusing me and like you said it was an emotional roller coaster for us when we were first watching dragon ball z we were upset that gohan was in this circumstance and everything felt like it was a complete mess but now we're laughing our asses off so that totally hits differently i was gonna say this is kind of confusing me too because i've only seen dragon ball z one time and this part of the show i watched two years ago nonetheless i'm enjoying dragon ball z bridge i can't say that it's good yet because i have haven't seen enough of it, but I do take everybody on Patreon's word that after episode 10, it's going to get awesome. And I'm looking forward to watching not only all of the episodes, but also the DBZA iterations of all of the Dragon Ball Z movies. Man, I am so excited for all of that. Going back to the episode, my favorite parody was the parody of Chi Chi because her character is so intense. And in DBZA, they've ramped up Chi Chi's personality to be way more intense, which I really appreciate. With that being said, we'll see you guys on the next exciting episode. Thank you for tuning in. Stay tuned and peace out. Bye.